Hey guys, what's going on? It's Delconic here, and today we're going to be taking on the Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta event with my Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta team. So, um, we go take a look over here. I'm using uh, almost the most optimal team that you could use. Um, the, the most optimal, essentially, you would put the Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta in place of my Super Saiyan Gohan, the Broly, the Broly Killer Gohan. And unfortunately, I just pulled him recently. Spoilers if you didn't see it. <laughs> um, I didn't want to use... Ah, uh, damn. Oh, okay, I guess not bet on the Rose. I'd prefer to be on that Gohan because he doesn't have some good... He doesn't have good links on there. Uh, but yeah, so there you go. That's exactly what I wanted. So I'm running, like, the just underneath the most optimal team. I'm using all the other optimal units. The reason why Rosé is optimal is because he gives himself key. So, I mean, I know my guy is... My Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta is not Dokken Awakened. So that kind of stinks for me. But we're going to look at this here. You want the Super Vegeta, in my opinion, in front almost all the time. Because when he gets Super Attack off, he will then give Su uh, Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta a little bit of a boost. And any attack boost on that monster is amazing. So let's go and do that. By the way, this one, the first round is super easy. Um, I recommend, okay, if you have the Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta card, I recommend using a Super, Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta team and taking on Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. If you pull both, I still recommend doing this first because when you have a double Doken Awaken Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta team, it makes going against the Super Saiyan 4 Goku event a lot easier. A lot easier because then you have two 120 leads if you get a friend and you can take them on without a problem. All right, cool. So we do this, we're going to keep, let's see, can I switch these two out and give them more key? No. Yeah, ain't nothing. Um, okay, so we're going to do this, sorry, no, keep on swapping them around. The reason was, I was, you know, I, the reason why I have the Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta here in front of that, um, that, that Vegeta is solely due to the fact that he tanks and it's an agility card. So, ooh, see, that kind of stinks. I, I should have put him at the end over there. That Gohan's going to get destroyed. You know what we're going to do? We're going to throw an Icarus. I usually only use uh, one Icarus on the Technique round for this, and then one Icarus on the Agility round once you get to the next Agility round. But anyway, uh, my Rose is pretty damn good. I have a 9 crit and 8 double attack, I believe, or vice versa. So he does really well. I got, like, last round I got two additional super attacks with well, one crit on one of them, and that was just amazing. Now, Vegeta I ran out of orbs, well, unfortunately. Tonight I'm going to grind out some more. I can't wait to get him up. Fortunately, you know, at this point in the game, I only have him, uh, you know, I don't know what day of the week it is, but I probably know I have a whole bunch more summoning videos, so stay tuned, you might see some cool stuff. Anyway, <laughs> uh, damn, look at all that, that attack that I got out done to me. Oof. All right, so essentially perfect rotation what you want, which I probably should have thrown my, my Super Vegito at the end over there, uh, because, yeah, let's go ahead and swap him out. That was my fault, I wasn't paying attention. So... We, what, I, what I'm doing right now is I have my Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. I want to keep him paired with the Super Saiyan Kaioken Blue Goku because um, they will give each other links, key links, and attack buff. But um, the uh, Super Vegito, I want him to go with the Dokken Awakened version of the Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta because of that 30% attack buff. And when you get that 30% attack buff to a guy who has a really good passive skill, he does even more damage and better damage. Plus, um, I think he had some decent uh, dupes on him as well. Uh, what, not 100% sure, but he uh, should have some decent dupes on him, so that way if he does end up critting or getting additional attack, he'll do a lot more damage. Look at that, and then boom, counterattack. Get the crit, get the crit, get the crit. No, no crit. Alright. Oh, oof, I don't want to look at that. That's why I use the Icarus, because the super attacks do a lot of damage. Alright, cool, so we're going to do this, and we're going to put you in the middle. Give him some additional... Actually, technically, yeah, we're going to do that. And... Ooh. Ooh. Well, the Vegeta should be able to take him out, honestly. But... And there's that. Alright, cool. So, even if he does a super... Okay, he's not doing super. I, I have yet to have uh, either friend or my Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta do a counterattack. There we go. Now that technique crown's out of the way. That's why I say you should bring the agility team. Um, he only has that one weakness. If as long as you have an Icarus, you can get through without a problem. Assuming you have an optimal team like I'm running right now. Alright, I'll do that. And actually it doesn't matter which location I put him in because it's two and two. Actually it does matter because I want my Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. There we go. Yeah, we're gonna do that. Then we can get that to drop down, then we get that to drop down, and then we can get the super attack with my Super Saiyan Gohan. Alright, cool. 
And he's not going to do a lot of damage because now he's just strength. Because you go up against two strengths here. So my Kaioken Blue Goku is going to get him down. Ooh, nice. What is that? About 80% um, of his health bar. Then my Super Saiyan for uh, Vegeta. I keep on we're trying, I keep on going to say Gohan. I don't know why. I don't know why. I think Bandai needs to get and make a Super Saiyan 4 Gohan card. I know some of you guys do not like it. They don't, you don't like it when they do non-canon characters into the game. I'm sorry. I like it. You know, it, it's a game. It's fun. It's meant to be played to have fun. That's all I want. I want to have some more fun. <laughs> and you know that they're going to do it anyway. You know, like, I, they already put so many non-canon cards into the game. That it's not like they will not put a card like that into this game. Oh, only 25,000. That's good. And as soon as we finish this, I don't know if I mentioned this earlier in the video, but as soon as we're done with this and I get the Awakening Medals, I get the Doken Awakening, my Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. So I'm super hyped about that. Oh wait, I hope I have enough Zenny for that. I actually did, I, I just sell, sold a $5 million Hercule statue, because, you know, why can't I get anything else? <laughs> Alright, so this is where we're at. And then what we do is we heal up with the Sensu Bean. And because I don't have a Super Vegito here, we're going to use another Icarus. Super Vegito is on the list. So typically what I do is I, if I have my Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta and a Super Vegito, I won't use the Icarus until the following round. Uh, just a little bit of a tactic there, in case you guys were wondering. Alright, so I'm going to do this to get the red... Oh, no, never mind. It wasn't the red orbs that got down. I pulled down. And we're going to get that. So now I can get the red orbs down. There we go. So now I have 4 and 4 if I need them, or 3 and or 5 and if I need 5. 5 and 2 if I need them? I don't know. Trying to play tactically here. <laughs> Ooh, maybe I should have swapped those two around because I got three coming in a row. One of them's, I guarantee you, one of these guys is going to be a super attack. Well, maybe not? Oh, no, there it is. There it is. It's not like it would have dodged anyway. I haven't had a single dodge. I guess I'm due then, right? Laws of probability. The longer it doesn't happen when it should happen, the higher probability that it will happen, even if it is a set uh, percentage. That's why I do single summons. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't see. I don't really um, play that. I also have like a thousand sense of beans, so I'm trying to use it up to clear up some of my box. So I don't care. I'll just use them up. Use them up. Yum yum yum. Eat them up. Eat them up. All right, cool. There we go. Get some counters in on here. And then I have my super attack. It's going to increase the damage. And hopefully he doesn't do a super attack after um, when the next two rounds that he attacks me. Ooh, I got a crit. Nice. Because now I can get another counter. No crit there. But, if, yes, perfect. And now my super, my friend's Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. Ooh, and a crit. Nice. Now my friend will get a little power buff. So, okay, he's, only, he's at 930,000 attack. He can get the crit. Can you get the double? He can. Ooh, he got the double super. Yes. Alright, now that's what I'm talking about. Heck yeah. So I got it. Oh, wait, now I need to train them up. Alright, guys. Um, well, let's just get through this real quick. I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to cut out the video. I'll cut out the part where I actually have to train them because i got to do a, a friend summon because the, the global site doesn't have that training system in place yet. So, alright. I'm going to cut out right here. Alright, guys. So we're back and we're here and we're going to go and Doken Wake in my Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. Super hyped, super happy about that. Um, there we go, look at that 77, look at that, that beast, that monster, his cost is going up, but I'm okay with it. What does it cost? Uh, 1,540,000 zenny. Alright, cool, so that means I have enough to token awaken my Super Saiyan 4 Goku. Alright, cool, that's awesome. Now, now what I'm, I'm not going to do it in this video, obviously, but now my team, my amazing team that I have over here, is all set. And I'm going to go up against Super Saiyan 4 Goku event. I'm going to grind it out. I'm going to do the same thing I did on this time, on this one. I'm going to grind it out until I get, um, like, seven medals until I can Doken Wake in my Super Saiyan 4 Goku. And you're just going to watch me destroy him with this team. This team right here. And then, um, I'll be doing some grinding. I'm, gonna, I'm heading out for a little bit. But anyway, guys, thank you. Let me know. Were you able to pull him? Did this help you out? Are you able to take on the event? What team are you running? That's what I want to know, too. What team are you running? Because I'm obviously using the optimal team, because I have all the optimal units. Well, Gohan can technically... <gasps> Oop, sorry about that. Can be switched out with this Vegeta right here. 
that is the most optimal unit to have in place of that Gohan. But I don't have him Doken Awakened yet, or even trained up for that matter, so I'm not going to put him in. So, yeah, let me know what you guys are doing in the, down in the comments below. Thank you for stopping by here today. Hit that sub button if you're new here, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.